Hello folks and thanks for watching, we're sherwoodphoenix.co.uk and today I'm going to show you the Bluffner Style 5 Baby Grand Piano. Um, it looks as though it's in a black case but it's actually a, it's a very very dark rosewood um, and certainly in this light it looks black and probably um, in, in most places it probably look like a black piano uh, but if you look at it very very closely um, it is a really really dark rosewood um, and the, the piano itself is 5 foot 8 inches long from front of the keyboard to the back of the tail. It's an 88 note keyboard, all with its ivory keys. And the ivory keys on this piano is particularly nice condition, as is the casework as well. Um, let me just open it up quickly. Uh, I, just, I just get the total tone of the piano. So it is uh, it's an Alipat patent bluffner. And the serial number on this one is 75174. That, that takes it to uh, about 1905 to 1910, but um, I'm sure I checked the, the, the serial number earlier on. And if I remember rightly, it, it does date back to 1907. Um, it's got all the, the, the original features, including the Bluffner style um, music desk as well. Nice, nice enough piano, but unfortunately the, uh, the piano has taken a crack on the frame. We generally do fix these and it can cost about £300 to get the, the frame cold stitched. And then if you want to, you can you can look at refinishing the frame um, to, to basically to, to finish it properly. But it is very, very fixable. But because it's got the crack in the frame, uh, we at this time, our restoration, our restoration um, workshops are, are nearly booked three years in advance. And this one is, is one piano too many. Um, to be fair, we've actually got the five or six pianos too many at this minute in time. Um, that we're basically we're not booking anything else additionally into our workshop just now until we to clear off some of our backlog. But this um, th this is a nice piano. Uh, if you're not too worried about the crack in the frame, um, some people you'll read about cracks in the frame. Um, certainly, it can be something that you you need to you need to consider. And certainly on this case, the the crack is up here in the treble end. Um, and certainly it's, it's in a place where on these pianos you do tend to find them. Uh, it can be fixed and it, it would really be down to, to the next owner whether or not you would want to go for that. Uh, as, a, as a piano, it actually does play okay, sounds okay and certainly um, it could be used and enjoyed. So in, in the meantime, uh, let me play it over to you, here we go. <laughs> We haven't actually tuned the piano or done anything to it since it came in. Um, upon seeing the crack on the frame, uh, this, this piano is, is not something that, that we are going to be able to do just now. Um, we, would like to, we would like to restore it, but unfortunately I think the best thing to do is find someone else that either can see past the crack uh, or um, maybe wants to restore it and restore the crack. It's not, it's not, um, it's not as big a problem as some people will maybe make out it can be. What, what you need to be aware of with cracked frames is if, it, if the frame's cracked all the way through um, or cracked too far, it can make it very, very difficult for repairing it properly. Uh, so that for, for that reason, that's, that's where when you're reading about cracked frames, it's quite important to, to know the difference between a crack that's unmendable uh, and a crack that's, that's very, very easily uh, fixed. Um, and, and as I say, it's not an overly expensive thing to fix. The thing about cracked frames as well is when you fix a cracked frame, you, you could fix that frame, uh, the crack on this, this frame, and it would be absolutely solid. You wouldn't get any more problems with it. However, when, when you fix it, there might be, it might, the actual fix itself might be a little bit ugly. And the only, only way to do it, to fix that properly would be to refinish the frame. So when you, when you refinish the frame, 
Um, in order to refrange the frame properly, you've got to take the frame out of the piano, at which point you've, you're looking at restringing the piano, and that's where it can become costly. So, if you're not too worried about a slightly ghastly um, looking part on the frame in here, uh, then you can get it fixed and the problem's gone. Uh, but a lot of people like to, to, to take the restoration a bit further than that. And for that reason, this is, this is a perfect candidate for restoration. But yeah, let me play it over to you again. And then uh, if you've got any questions, do give us a call. Yes, folks, if you want to come down and see this piano for yourself, or maybe you're a technician or you'd like to send a technician, we always invite anyone to come to the showroom. We are here six days a week, and we're now open on a Sunday as well by appointment. So if you want to come, we'll make ourselves available for you to come down, try any pianos out. We have about 300 pianos in our current stock list. We have about 250 here physically in the showroom at the minute. And certainly we've always got other pianos coming in, coming through the, sh the showroom and our workshops. So if you're looking for something in particular, and you're looking for some advice on maybe what you're buying, by all means get in contact with us, and certainly uh, either myself or one of my colleagues will do the best to help you out. Thanks again for watching folks, we do look forward to seeing you, bye for now.